Hi, welcome back to another Archicad Speed modeling tutorial by ASM TechBase. My name is Carsten Endy. Join the ASM TechBase email list for newsletters and future updates. Hi, and welcome to this next tutorial of mine, which I called Roundhouse Design. You can see I've got a reference image, and the main thing is the challenge for us is really as example. You got the windows here and the wood around. You see it's nicely cut off round. Same on that side. And also those window flaps. So I've got this over here. Let's have a quick look. So you see this looks really good and nicely cut off exactly to the round shape. And the flaps here, there you go. They look great. And also how do you flap them? <laughs> I call the flap along this. Okay, this is my initial starting setup. I got a um, two sections, a one and a two. I've got a simple slab, slab which is five by 12 meters. So in 3D, there you go. And my next step is to now create the roundness or at least with a arc circle, start to designing it. So we go for this um, purpose to a two and just simply draw a circle here. So from the start, let's go from there to there and we go all the way back here. As you can see, it's only half, uh, half a circle, but I want to go as high up as three and a half, roughly. This is a design phase for me at the moment. So I move this up, just drag it all the way up there, and then you sort of continue, obviously, the circle down. Now, this is five meters, and as you can see at the moment, if I go from there to there, I don't quite get five meters. So drag that circle there and now we just stretch this out and to keep it at this corner just use that tool here resize and i do it defined graphically so i click ok click there go all the way here and now i can just use here it just stretches my um, arc to this other side of my five meter slab there you go, so I've got exactly five meters. And obviously you can see it's a little bit too high, three and a half, so you could um, move this down a bit and say, okay, look, let's just drag this down a little bit if you wanna cut it here. But again, then this doesn't match. So for my purpose of this, let's just leave it like that and we continue. The second step is to get the wall going. Now, obviously we can't use the normal wall tool straight it just doesn't do round balls like that so what i'm doing is i create a profile manager in the i create a profile in the profile manager so what we do is start um, close this for now i um, draw another circle and you go maybe down here and you can see now i've got a 2728 and i want to make the wall 200 so make it to set to nine to eight so two nine two eight hit enter and we just draw around right so we got then the thickness of the wall which is probably concrete maybe a type of steel construction but i leave this up to you so the next bit is maybe we add some foundation down down here and all you do is you just draw them with the line first as example, let's go down here. I just draw something, you know, should really go like this. I could do it more exact, go back, maybe there. And then you got a foundation here. There's all lines and arcs at the moment. Now I don't continue here because I go straight in, into the profile I created before. And in the profile, if you have used it before, you obviously do um, use fills. So I show you, I've got this in here, edit. So I created that before. So I just did exactly the same as I showed you. I did draw some arcs. I made a foundation all with lines first, and then I used my fill. I just drew the fills along. Now, if you wanna have a second material, you can see here, I made two fills because then every fill you can apply a different material. So this outside material is the concrete and inside, I just call it for the moment wool internal wall. So I can then apply some different materials. 
great make sure there are um, different fills before you save all this out see this one is a um, concrete tool so I did all this saved it out and then let's go back to our drawing I can close this now maybe I should go into a tool and delete this for now because I don't need that so let's just get rid of this all right so I've got this here and obviously in the wall tool you can choose now this profile we created round wall and take this out and I put this you can put it on external wall or you can put it on a window frame if you want to let's just do walls external click OK and we draw from the middle all the way to there all right let's have a look in 3d there you go so that looks pretty good for now as you can see if I zoom in I've got foundation and I got two different um, materials for my walls outside and inside next step let's create now our window or sliding door in this case I like to do a sliding door so open the sliding door settings and you maybe have seen this before it looks very funny because watch this let's turn it around so what this is actually where is it it is it's the reveal where do i find the reveal oh i struggling with this oh there we go so the reveal automatically goes to the thickness of the wall i have currently in this setting so watch this so let's cancel i go to my wall setting and it's taking this so let's just go back and do uh, 200 click ok if i go back now to my door it will look sort of normal again because it is um, only 200 mil now what you see is here is what i created i did extend my um, casing outside okay so if i go casing outside inside got this on 600 let's go back there usually at like 50 or something um, yeah so i start with this first now watch what happens if i click this in obviously you know you choose the length the height just normal settings what you after and then we click this into a wall now what happens here as you can see this is not going to work so if i go into 3d because this is one wall it creates this window sliding door perfectly on that side but i've got <laughs> i've got this in there and on the other side i got a hole so i don't really want that now we got to do the first thing first is we go to our profile and we choose this one here and let's just keep this for now but i want to duplicate this just add a number okay and edit so what you have to do is now it's quite simple actually so we delete this and this one here we have to split so let's just split this in half delete and save this now if I go back and we select this, what we do is we choose now only half of a wall. Okay, delete this one. I want to start fresh. So I draw another one, you know, the half knot, this side. And let's have a look in 3D now. Okay, so obviously no windows in there and we got two pieces. Very important. So if I now go back and add my door, let's put it here in the middle. So I'm right there, this way, and we have a look in 3D. Okay, as you can see now, that worked much better. And we do have now already this perfectly in there. And yeah, we got to extend a little bit our casing. So let's just select this one and we extend the casing, which is the inside one. I used the inside one. Let's make this 400 see what happens here yeah it's sticking way out already so so that's very good okay so what do we do next how do i get it to look like this see nice in here and how do i do this i go back into my wall this one here i want to round one the full circle 
and I duplicate again. This one will be 02. And I do fill this up inside. Spacebar click, delete. If you follow my tutorials, that's the easy way to do it. This one here will be a cutting element. So it doesn't really matter what I've got here. But for the sake of it, purpose of it, let's just put this on a normal um, general. There we go. Right, and we now select all this because I don't need this. Right, and we save. Let's go back here. So what I do is next, take this, let's drag a little bit of a copy and because it's still selected, all you have to do is you can choose this one. And I'll put this on cutting elements. All right, let's have a look at the 3D and see what it does. Okay, so this is my wall I just drew with that extra element. It looks, you see, it looks a bit funny there because I still got the empty wall in there. It's just, oops, you know, sometimes it's hard. Let's just select this, hit F5. So you isolated this and that's better. There we go. Okay, cool. So this, you know, just draw it all the way through and we go in 3D. Okay, now we can use a solid element operation. Let's open this window, solid element operation. So I like to now add my wall outside, which is this one here as a um, target and this one here which is our operator I have on cutting elements I use to subtract I just execute and as you can see now if we go export to hide our cutting element layer this is cut beautifully totally nice where this round wall is okay let's close that window and we get back here the next bit I want to show you is, let's zoom out, go over here. How do we create this window? Even with the flaps, the wooden flaps opening. Okay, let's do this next. I'm going over here, working is fine. Actually, for now I do export. I don't really need to see the cutting element. I'm going into my A2 section elevation and I start drawing in here. First, I want an arc. So we go from here, it should show me some middle point somewhere here, hopefully. If not, don't worry about it. Just use this one. So let's zoom in a bit. We go from there. Just any of the outside arc. And you go down here. Okay, so that's the arc. Let's do that a little bit longer so you can see what I mean. Oops, no, not that one. There we go. Okay, that's red. Next, we'll see if I go now in here, I do have my middle point. Let's draw a line from that middle point straight up. Zoom in a bit. There we go. I should have been a bit more careful. So, deselect and we just have a look. If you make sure, actually, you know what? Okay, it's the start first line up here, go all the way up, great. And I like now to obviously rotate them around, copy them around. So let's count, oh, I gotta go to my photo here, let's count. So I'm starting here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 pieces. So if I want 12 pieces, I'm going in here and let's rotate this around. We rotate, I like to spread, distribute, 12, rotate to path, and we click, oops, you know, it's in the middle, and there you go, you go round all the way, so you should have 12 pieces. Yeah, group this, because I want to, as you can see, I want to have the middle line, not there, 
I want to move it halfway that way. So how do I do this exactly? It's very easy actually. You draw from the middle, there you go, middle to middle. And this is the middle point here. So select, it's all grouped. You rotate to the middle there. And you go this way. So that's exactly in the middle now, perfect. Delete anything you don't need for now, like this is a bit in my way. Perfect. Continue. We want to take this actually now out of the section. So I select all these. I like also to select the art. Let's just copy this and we go down where my ground floor is and paste this in. Yeah. Right, so how do we now create this window now? There's a couple of ways. I do it with slabs first and I'll show you why and how I do it. Slab. Check first you have um, the right material. I like to use paint four. Thickness of the frame. Let's make it 80. And I put it on a layer called creative because I can turn that off. So, Base click, but you know what? I actually wanted to make sure, yes, I gotta draw this line here because that's where the slab is. Actually, you know, I gotta be very careful here. Let's go back, let's do it together. Mm, no, that's not good. So, yeah, that's the line. Take that line again, we just copy again. So you can see then I will fit it in like this, paste over here, yeah, so. That's the copy I had before. All you do is go there and match this. That's much better. Okay, so this is now, you can see, see, this is now this piece. Back to my slab and we do a space click for those three pieces. This one here, this one, and this one. Now change this to a different color. It's easier to follow, i show you Let's do this gray, gray will do. Okay, so we got three pieces of slab here and select them, copy and paste. And I'm gonna paste them exactly in the same spot. Click outside the frame. So I've got two pieces each now. And if I select this, you will see it's select them all three because I can now offset them. There we go. And let's just make this 35. Okay, we do the same offset here, 35, and here, 35. This is still selected. Again, first is I want to just make it different so I can see which one I select, what it is. So I just do this with bluish, because this should be my glass, or will be my glass in a moment. Change this to glass, make it glass number two. All right, great, select all of them. Let's have a look what we got in 3D. All right. Yeah, at the moment I did not cut out the gray slab. So let's go back and I gotta do this first. So take this, take this and select this. Go to the slab tool and you hold down space bar and yeah, there you go. This will create a hole into the slab. All right. So select them again, and this should be quite clean now. There you go. Move your glass a little bit into the middle. So roughly, let's elevate the minus 35. Ooh, that's a bit much. Do that one again. Minus 35. Okay, and they're still thick, as you can see. So make your glass like 20. Okay, again, I'm in a design phase. This is just roughly. Great, this is looking good. So I'm going back here. And next what I'm doing is actually, let's just select those ones first. So this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we mirror a copy, hopefully. Let's go move, mirror copy. Sometimes my shortcut don't work. Beautiful. To do this, this is quite easy. I just rotate and copy. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
so select select and we rotate this time increment by six you click there there and you can see it starts rotating obviously so we go there perfect and we have to do one more so let's just take this and spacebar and we copy and paste and again you select just one of them doesn't really matter and do this 35 now we take this and we give this oh and i gotta cut this out all right i think this will look pretty nice so far let's have a quick look yeah very similar to what we had in this nice image i showed you before great let's go and continue because i did this obviously all in slabs but i can't turn the slab so what you do is select all the slabs because i don't want all the lines to convert into a morph i want only the slab so you go around with your marquee tool slabs hit select all and i drag a copy i keep an original there for now because if you want to change it later it's a bit easier with slabs that's what i think anyway so we got a copy here and you just right click and convert this selection to a morph okay great let's drag this now now copy over here turn it around to start fitting it in so to rotate this by 90 you have to go to a1 there we go make sure it is not suspended the groups and you can rotate and move in section elevation there you go see and we can now go to a2 there we go and we can just move this into place so drag this there and in 2d obviously i have to also drag it there okay if you want to make it exact you obviously start there oops undo again drag and we go okay so in 3d i use the frame tool now so i get nothing else in 3d we got now this okay let's turn around beautiful interesting i don't have glass on this oh i do it's just it's a white background let's change that maybe annoying for you as a tutorial let's do a little bit of a sky so you can see what's happening here okay not really and a ground tiny bit of grass or something there we go okay that would be much better so you have to turn around there you go see there is glass in there okay i just couldn't see it great as you saw some of them don't need to be glass right they are like wood i like to show you how to do it in wood now and also how to turn around the grain of the wood it's actually quite nice so select this into 3d and make sure you have suspended great i want to now keep those three as glass and this one here i like to have as wood so only got those three great change this to what shall i take it take it wood 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 how's this yeah it's not too bad let's turn around yeah looking good now how do you make sure the grain looks more like in this photo you can see in the photo the way they constructed this there's slides there sort of perpendicular to the arc can you see this all right so i can do that similar by doing the following select this make sure it's sus uh, not suspended and you go into 3d and i want to look straight at it so open this and if it doesn't open sometimes this happened going to my ground floor click again there you go now don't use the perspective mode use an axonometry mode and let's just 
facade view straight at it. All right, in 3D, this will look like this now. There we go. Great. Now we suspend the groups and we select. Okay, seems a little bit dark. I wouldn't mind moving the zone around. So it's easy again for you to tour. Okay, so what you have to do is now one by one is you select this and this option here, you can align 3D texture, you can set origin, set direction or reset. In this case, I like to use set direction. So click there, click there. And what you do is I like to do it on the clicked surface, not by an exact number. There we go. So go there and we go roughly there. Look, this is again, just roughly in my tutorial see so that's perpendicular to the arc so let me do all the other ones quickly okay i think it looks pretty good now great next step is how do you now go and open some of those uh, wooden slats all right, so what you can do is like this. Let's go into 3D. I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, I've got all those. The best way, actually, I'll go back to my perspective view. Don't like working in that view. So perspective. Oh, there's a little trick. If you see at the moment my camera here, it looks that way, but I want to look from with my camera from here to there. So you hold down Alt and you click, there we go and control moves it that way see very nice and that's on the pc the mac might be the different shortcuts all right great back into my 3d okay cool so to now open those and do it exactly that we can actually rotate it perpendicular to this it's not that easy in 3d so what i suggest is this we go actually back here and i want to see it a lot it's easier to move this so if i have this here i like to select now make sure it's suspended let's just select this one and this one and we move it out a bit just drag it out okay use did you see i use this line so it's exactly moving that way not up and down or left and right great so hit f5 again so we have this all allowed now how do i rotate this that it actually works really well let's go back here you can see it's outside and if i now look at my a2 what i want to do is you take this and i only want to see this a2 there you go so i only want this you select this select this and i rotate this now from here straight okay you will see in a moment why because now have a look in 3d what happened so it's rotated obviously around the middle of this arc and now it's horizontal so it's much easier now to open this wooden flap using the actual section elevation. Doing this, just drag again, use this so it's exactly there, and we go to A1. See, there you go. Take this, and all you have to do is now rotate a little bit. Let's rotate, make it open like this. 3d see it's open rotated exactly horizontal to this all you have to do is now let's move them back in here so i move it back roughly there take those two and we move it back again and don't forget we have to rotate it i'll show you it's not in the right spot so you have to go to a2 oh make sure i am um, extend this again there we go 
a2 and you just select those two select this select this and rotate and rotate it back into place now if you think it's a bit fiddly you know i'm still i keep talking and explaining this to you if i don't talk and don't explain this will this will take no time at all so see there you go you know what let me do this this and this quickly for you so Okay, as you can see, all the flaps are out roughly. So it looks actually quite cool. And as you can see, it looks even better if we add some corrugated iron roof. There we go. Oops, let's have a quick look here. Ah, that looks pretty good. And I added some furniture inside. Let's go and have a look inside. By the way, if you missed that tutorial about the corrugated iron, the round, how you do this, just keep watching the next video. I added this on so the next video will show you about this corrugated iron roof how to do this but I hope you enjoyed this particular tutorial today with those nice flaps and the round walls including the nicely cut off window casing inside all right cool I hope to see you next time bye for now